All right, y'all, so. What's up, YouTube? How y'all doing today? Yo, gang, y'all good? I'm great. Thank you for asking. So today, as you see, we have Fernie and we have Oompa. Boom, uh, boom, boom. Bebo's busy. <laughs> Bebo's busy, so as soon as he gets himself caught up, we'll talk. And oh, Kevin's over here too. Oh, but today, we are talking about this. The Smith & Wesson 22 Victory. What do y'all think about that? Oh, yeah, I don't even got it. You don't know what a victory is. You know what a victory is? Isn't that the newest the release they came out with? Like a 22 Magnum? No, that's a 22 Magnum. We did that yesterday. That means you didn't watch my video, so you need to go back and watch the video. Go to time out. Time out. Okay, so the 22 Victory, in my, I believe, in my opinion, is more of the competition. Let's go to a clear chest. The competition 22. Now, Kevin also likes those smaller calibers. He likes the 380s and, are you a 22 guy? Yeah. He's a 22 guy. So what do you think about the victory? It's what? It's great, I love it. Okay, he Amazing. loves it. So Fernie don't know about it. And Oompa, what do you think about the 22 victory? You've never shot it before. I'll take that over the, the Rubers. you take this over the Ruger. That's another thing that I've been hearing a lot about. I'll take that over the Marks. So I've been hearing that too. So the 22 Victory, unfortunately, the capacity is not as great as the 22 Magnum that just came out. It does have your 10 round magazine. And um, we gonna make do what we got because we only have one. All right, so the cool thing about this is it has the, the bolt system on this pistol actually moves completely and it has an internal hammer firing system pretty cool adjustable rear sight you have fiber optic front sight stop walking in front of my pistol <laughs> adjustable rear sight um it's 50 ounces so it has a quite a bit of um, weight on it it's not exactly 50 it's 50 point something but the weight on it is very uh how can i say um noticeable and for it to be just on the 22 lr side of it uh the weight will definitely keep that pistol down it is not moving at all stainless steel you have your um polymer grip it's not doesn't feel like the standard polymer or glock polymer it feels like a nice sturdy thick polymer you do have safeties and slide releases on here you have your c trigger i'm not a big c trigger fan but i am going to find out exactly how much i enjoy this now again your uh you do have oh it does have a did i say 5.5 inch barrel it does have a 5.5 inch threaded barrel and it's very simple the simplicity of this pistol is just what i think i enjoy so much too i hear takedown cleaning is like one two three and that is great but um yeah that's it that is it what do y'all think i think it's fine oh but what do you think what kind of shoot we gonna have good shoot smith uh babe, what do you think good shoot i think you're gonna have a low recoil shoot low recoil shoot Easy shoot. Kevin's on the phone. What about you, Fernie? Easy shoot. Easy shoot. Easy shooting. All right. Easy shooting. And we got our, oh, I didn't talk about the, um, the magazine release here. It's pronounced and it's very smooth. Obviously, it would be because this is considered a, or would be something that you go out there and you compete with. Now, it looks like if you show up to the range or something like this, they're like, yeah, she ain't come here to play. Mm -hmm. She know what she doing. She didn't come here to play. Kevin, what do you think? What type of shoot? What type of shoot? Yeah. I feel like a BB gun. Feel like, really? Like a BB gun. I had, I had the Ruger Mark IV. I still have the Colt Woodsman 22. It's uh -huh. a BB gun. It's a BB gun. You're going to enjoy it. Anybody can shoot it. It's a family gun. That's what I call it. There. It's a family gun. All right. So you heard it from Kevin. Mm -hmm. Kevin said it's a family gun. It's going to be great. So what are we shooting today? We are shooting Cellar and Bellet. And this is 22 LR 40 grain. And I have a hundred and some rounds. Uh, shoot, the only thing left to do now is what, y'all? Suit them up so you can set them down right. All right, let's suit it up. Lane number two. Yeah. 
pinch the back of it and you would drop it because this is the only moving part on this gun there is no slide so you would actually rack the whole bolt round mag for this. Wow, this is great. It's either a 30 round mag or 20 additional magazines. like a BB gun, an air gun, or um, what are those guns that you put those tanks on it? Airsoft guns? So smooth. Oh, that's great. Definitely, I mean, a nice practice gun. If you're trying to get somebody started you know, with mastering the grip and learning the sights and all that stuff, this is a nice option. <laughs> what do y'all think? How does it shoot? How does it look? In my hand, there's zero recoil. Recoil management is there because it's obviously a 22 LR and um, yeah. the gun is not moving. And man, I could go on and on about this. The only gripe I have is the capacity. I really wish it was a greater capacity. It's fun. 10 more. One more. Yes. 
I want to speed up my shots, but there's only 10. If I speed it up, then we'll be reloading the majority of this video. All right, I'm gonna speed them up though. Damn, this little spring here is torture on the hands. Might not be the loudest thing in the ring, but it's <laughs> for the funnest. All right, I'm going to buy two more magazines. I've already made my decision. Come on, yo. Definitely. Man, how much is a box of 50 of 22? Might be, what? 11, $12? Do you know how much fun you can have with this at the range? If we were at steel? Mm. I only have five Smooth. Wow. All right. Let's get this up and let's go talk about it. All right. We got the area all cleaned up. I love it. I love, love it. Wow. 50 ounces of, I mean, stainless steel on the top, polymer frame, quick trigger. It is such a delight. I enjoyed this so, so, so much. So that was uh, 50, probably a little under 100 rounds, and I could have shot all day long with this. The Smith, the Smith & Wesson Victory 22 LR. I know it's not the cutest thing um, to look at, but it does the job and the weight the 50 ounces really keeps it stationed in your hand you're not going to get any recoil obviously because it is a 22 but it gets no recoil no jump back but yo gang listen if you're interested in a 22 definitely 22 lr this is definitely one to look into i had a blast and i cannot wait to shoot it some more so with that being said yo gang make sure you check out www.yogang.com uh, pick up a t-shirt or a patch support the channel thank you guys so much for all that you do y'all already know i love it when things work and i love y'all for life peace